Hello everyone, my name is Abhishek Jain and in the previous video I just gave you the brief introduction about how Beautiful Soup helps us to collect the data from a website and this process is actually known as a web scrap and as a result of that video we created a small program what it does is it just hit our one URL which has you know the 50 stocks which are listed on the IP and that extract the data from there, from there with the help of URL lib and the Beautiful Soup module which you can see and to just have a more uh, understanding you can just watch uh, that video and just make your understanding. I will provide the link in the description. Now since uh, we know that uh, this particular website which I just hit it has this table and it can have a multiple table as well. So, but for now what we are going to do is whatever the data you are seeing here in this table we are going to just extract that data and we are going to save that in a CSV in this particular session. right? So as you know uh, we just find the table in the beautiful soup by having by searching for tag this one and the class we just provided the wiki table short right? Then we just, you know, what we are doing uh, in this table uh, object, we are just find all, it means it is going to search for all the ER tags and going, uh, giving us uh, all the records, right? So if I just look at the data, right? So whenever you collect the data from website, there is a lot of cleaning and a lot of stuff you have to do it from your side to make sure that you are getting a data in a correct way so that you can actually utilize that data for any purpose for which you are collecting it. So here if you will see the first TR is having a TH which we don't want and the another TR which we have which is seems to be blank for me. So it means that the, the data which we are getting, we are getting a correct data from the third uh, third row of names, right? So what happens is whenever we have, whenever we use the find all, we actually get the result in you know, the uh, list form, so which we are actually just reading. So now we have three columns. We have company name, symbol, and chapter, and then we have this name, which is associated with all the company. So if we want to extract that information, then what we can do is let's uh, let's define a few variables inside which we are going to just you know uh, save all these information. So I have already created a bunch of uh, four list uh, which we can uh, copy paste here uh, because that we will be utilizing. So what I can do is I can just initialize with a blank list. So these are the four fields we're gonna just expect from that particular site. So what we can do for that? So we know that uh, we now we have extracted the row, but inside the row we have this TD, right? So uh, the first TD has not only uh, some other anchor tag and other attributes, but it has this name as well, name of the company, right? So to extract that, what we can do is, so let's utilize the same code, and what we can do is, we can use this company name list, and by seeing this code, you will get to know how you can utilize your understanding in, you know, collecting a data from another website. So append is the method which actually going to append the new entry inside the list. So we have row, right? Inside the row, we have TD. So what we have to do, we have to search for all TD, right? So find all method we're gonna use. And I'm just gonna search for TD, right? And I know that TD is gonna return me a list, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna hit the first element. And for the first element, I just need a text, right? And that is I'm appending inside the company list, right? Now, second thing is the company link list, right? So in company link list, uh, we have, we, before uh, creating this company uh, let's first extract the uh, first extract the link. So extracting a link, uh, what we have to do, we have to take the link, uh, first row, search for all the TD, and just extracting the first element. But rather than using a text, what we have to do, we have to extract all the input. Right? So when we do that, what is what is going to do is it is going to extract this anchor tag attributes and going to put that information inside this. And then what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to put this fan name, the extracted link on the side. So, since it is going to be giving me the dict for all the attributes which we have inside the anchor tag, so we have href which actually contains the links, right? That we know inside the anchor tag, we have this href which is actually containing the link uh, which is associated with the company name. So that is how we can do this. Similarly, for the stock name list, if I want to populate the stock name list dot append, then what we can do is we can just 
just copy paste this text line and we know that the symbol stop so what we can do is we can just have the second element and for sector we can hit Okay, so I think we will be good here. So let's print all these values now, and if everything is good, then we will run for the complete form. I should have you know. You can save it and run it. Let's see what you are getting. List index out of range. TV zero text. So as as I mentioned, uh, you know we have to ignore uh, two records uh, from the beginning uh, since it is not having any information. Like the very first year doesn't have you know the CFPD, right? And that's the reason this failing. So to fix that, what we have to do is they see there is no TD, and that's the reason we are getting that one, right? So to do that, what we have to do is we have to slide and we have to start from the second row, and we can do this, right? If I run this thing, and we should have the data point. Okay, so now uh, just to make sure we have the data, let me just break it down. So at least now I know there is an issue that we will definitely want to fix it. Okay, so everything looks good. Uh, the thing is, uh, there is an untype. It means it looks like to me that company link list. There are one entry for which you know the link is not present. This is one issue. The another issue is you can see this. We are getting this uh, slash and that also we need to do. First, fix this issue, uh, then type, and then we gonna just see how we can just uh, help to clean that data, right? So once we have a company link, what we can do is if company link is none, then we have to we can give. Section. So I think by having this logic, we should not get into that issue. Oh, I just wanted to make we did not. We know we are the issue that we fixed by adding that logic where we are checking whether we are having any value inside the H or not. I think this time it should be fine. So let me just cancel it. So I just you know stop that because I want that to be here. It should be here so that you do not get this massive entries which we are getting. Okay, so once that complete loop is over, then we have to have all the uh, all the list created for us. Then only in the one time we show right. Okay, the uh, the other issue which we need to fix is that is related to this some uh, uh, backslash and and all this stuff. How we can do it, and that we are getting uh, you know only for the uh, sector name, right? This is where we are getting, right? So I think to fix this, what we can do is we can just go actually go into text and then. Yes, I think yeah. 
now we are good to go and we are good to you know save that data inside the csv file right so to save this data into the csv file what we can do there are many ways you can use you know uh, the pandas as well and whatever the way you feel like to use to create the csv uh, so and let me just go to csv and what we can do now it's completely up to you how you want to save it because you know now you have a list uh, and then you can you know save into any csv file whatever the way you feel it right so what i'm going to do is just open i'm just going to open one file let's say we have this nifty 50 uh, stock html so let's create this same thing rather than html we can say csv and we need to write in to the rest of the as we can say nifty right and then what we can do inside this we can define a writer equals to c r e so this is this file okay and then what we can do is let's and what we can do here is we have to use zip because we have code list okay so if I do this and so I'm just zipping here. We should be having a CSV file with the data which we want to extract. So once that's done, let me run it and see whether we are getting the correct CSV or not. Right. So if I just go to location. And if I just go to YouTube and next tapping, we should be having a CSV file. Yes, this is there. If we open it, we should be having that data file, right? So now we can see this. We have this data here. Now another problem which we are seeing is we have a one blank line and that we really need to fix it. Maybe in the next video I will do that. I will try to fix that as right. So uh, Okay, so that's it from my side. And uh, if you have any, if you have any feedback or any suggestion from which you think that by having that I can make my video more simpler and more easy to understand, just feel free to do, feel free to put that feedback and a suggestion in the comment section. And as always, stay stay healthy and keep learning. And, uh, thanks for watching my video. And uh, if you really want to support me, uh, please feel free to give me a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel. And and you can also share these videos with your friends or your groups if you think that these videos can help them to just uh, you know by any means. So once again, thanks for watching it.